short sitting meditation. Settle into a comfortable sitting position, either on a straight back chair or a soft surface on the floor, with your buttocks supported by cushions or a low stool. If you use a chair, it's very helpful to sit away from the back of the chair so that your spine is self-supporting. If you sit on the floor, it's helpful if your knees actually touch the floor. Experiment with the height of the cushions or the stool until you feel comfortably and firmly supported. Whatever you sit on, arrange things so that your knees are lower than your hips. Allow your back to adopt an erect, dignified and comfortable posture. If sitting on a chair, place your feet flat on the floor with your legs uncrossed. Gently close your eyes. Bring your awareness to the level of physical sensations by focusing your attention on the sensations of touch and pressure in your body where it makes contact with the floor and whatever you're sitting on. Spend a minute or two exploring these sensations. Now bring your awareness to the changing pattern of physical sensations in the lower abdomen as the breath moves in and out of your body. Focus your awareness on the sensations of slight stretching as the abdominal wall rises with each in-breath and of gentle deflation as it falls with each out-breath. As best as you can, follow with your awareness the changing physical sensations in the lower abdomen all the way through as the breath enters your body on the in-breath and all the way through as the breath leaves your body on the out-breath. Perhaps noticing the slight pauses between one in-breath and the following out-breath and between one out-breath and the following in-breath. There's no need to try to control the breathing in any way. Simply let the breath breathe itself. As best as you can, also bring this attitude of allowing to the rest of your experience. There's nothing to be fixed. No particular state to be achieved. As best as you can, simply allow your experience to be your experience without needing it to be other than it is. And sooner or later, usually sooner, your mind will wander away from the focus on the breath in the lower abdomen to thoughts, planning, daydreams, drifting along, whatever. This is perfectly okay. It's simply what minds do. It's not a mistake or a failure. When you notice that your awareness is no longer on the breath, gently congratulate yourself. You have come back and are once more aware of your experience. You may want to acknowledge briefly where the mind has been and then gently escort the awareness back to a focus on the changing pattern of physical sensations in the lower abdomen, renewing the intention 
to pay attention to the ongoing in-breath or out-breath, whichever you find. However often you notice that the mind has wandered, and this will quite likely happen over and over and over again, as best as you can, congratulate yourself each time on reconnecting with your experience in the moment, gently escorting the attention back to the breath, and simply resume following in awareness the changing pattern of physical sensations that come with each in-breath and out-breath. As best as you can, bring a quality of kindliness to your awareness. Perhaps seeing the repeated wanderings of the mind as opportunities to bring patience and gentle curiosity to your experience. Perhaps reminding yourself from time to time that the intention is simply to be aware of your experience in each moment, as best as you can using the breath as an anchor to gently reconnect with the here and now. Each time you notice that your mind has wandered and is no longer down in the abdomen following the breath. When you feel reasonably settled on awareness of the breath, intentionally allow the awareness to expand around the breath to include as well a sense of physical sensations throughout the whole body, while still aware in the background of the movements of the breath in the lower abdomen. Change your primary focus so that you become aware of a sense of the body as a whole and of the changing patterns of sensation throughout the body. You may find that you get a sense of the movements of the breath throughout the body as if the whole body were breathing. If you choose, together with this wider sense of the body as a whole and of the breath moving to and from, include awareness of the more local, particular patterns of physical sensations that arise where the body makes contact with the floor, chair, cushion or stool. The sensations of touch, pressure, the contact of the feet or knees with the floor, the buttocks with whatever supports them, the hands where they rest on the thighs or on each other. As best as you can hold all these sensations, together with the sense of the breath and of the body as a whole, in a wider space of awareness of physical sensations. The mind will wander repeatedly away from the breath and body sensations. This is natural, to be expected, and in no way a mistake or a failure. Whenever you notice that your awareness has drifted away from sensations in the body, you might want to congratulate yourself. You have woken up. Gently note where the mind 
was thinking and kindly focus your attention back to your breathing and to a sense of your body as a whole. As best as you can, keep things simple, gently attending to the actuality of sensations throughout your body from one moment to the next. As you sit, some sensations may be particularly intense, such as pains in the back, knees or shoulders. And you may find that awareness is repeatedly drawn to these sensations and away from your intended focus on the breath or body as a whole. You may want to use these times to experiment with choosing intentionally to remain still and bring the focus of awareness into the region of intensity and then, as best as you can, explore with gentle and wise attention the detailed pattern of sensations here. What precisely do the sensations feel like? Where exactly are they? Do they vary over time or from one part of the region of intensity to another? Not so much thinking about them as just feeling them. You may want to use the Breath is a vehicle to carry awareness into such regions of intensity, breathing into them. Breathe out from those sensations, softening and opening with the out-breath. Or alternatively, you may choose intentionally to shift posture. And then having done so, to revert to your original posture and remaining still. Whenever you find yourself carried away from awareness in the moment by the intensity of physical sensations, or in any other way, remind yourself that you can always reconnect with the here and now by refocusing awareness on the movements of the breath or on a sense of the body as a whole. Once you've gathered yourself in this way, allow the awareness to expand once more so it includes a sense of sensation throughout the whole body. And now for the last few moments of this sitting, bringing your attention back to focus on your breathing in the abdomen, tuning into any and all sensations on this in-breath and this out-breath. And as you sit here and as you breathe, allowing yourself to cultivate this sense of moment-to-moment -moment awareness, and remembering that the breath is available to you at any moment of your day to allow you to feel grounded, to give a sense of balance and an awareness of accepting yourself just as you are in each moment. <laughs> 